Hello, John Fox for Book Fox and Red Fence, and I'm here covering Book Expo 2008. We were just wondering about a, a basic summary of what Author Bytes is and what Author Bytes can do for the author. Sure. Author Bytes creates uh, custom websites, multimedia trailers, and podcasts for authors and publishers. All these people up here, um, they're very good looking. Do you also uh, do you also promote ugly authors? How do you promote the <laughs> ugly ones? Right. So if you apply for the big read, you get a grant. And you also get free materials, which are teacher's guides, <laughs> reader's guides. <laughs> You're very good at this. Yes. You should be like Vanna White. I've done it White. before. You're you like know? a literary Vanna White. I'm the literary Vanna White. Yeah. yeah. Gotta do good financial planning. And it goes from a Aunt Catherine selling her next. <laughs> What are you here at the Book Expo for? I'm here to learn about the book publishing business because I'm coming out with a book in November with uh, Congressman Jerry McNerney about energy independence. So I'm learning about the business here and uh, how to promote the book and make it a bestseller. And it's going to change the course of human history. So I hope to come next year and be the keynote speaker. <laughs> so where does this go? So tell us what book you're promoting. Well, I'm promoting The Cole Family Christmas and I am Mama Cole true story based on a family from Kentucky with nine siblings and I met the youngest she's still alive she's 88 years old and she's the co-author of this book and we also have an animated goat over in the west wing it's, it's really an animated cool. goat he can see you he can respond he can talk to you stop let's go to the animated goat <laughs> but you're a publisher excite <laughs> oh yeah this is what this is what writing conferences are all about. I cannot dance off with that. That is too good. I cannot dance off with that. Your idea was a good one. You said forget the job. Why not just give me the, well, the money and go ahead with it? If I would have done. Yeah. So when we walked by, our first question was, wasn't I robot written by Asma? It was. This one's better. Red alert! Red alert! Okay. Don't take my word for it. The first pre-pub review we got from Forward Magazine says so. Better than the better than the um, book by Isaac Asimov or the Will Smith's movie, put together. And I said to myself, this is nonsense, positronic grains. They can't exist. It's like for somebody who knows physics, it's nonsense. Positron, it's anti antimatter. There's matter all around us. Antimatter won't exist in matter. Just annihilate it. You can't have it. It's nonsense. You know, I'm forced to call it science fiction. Everything in here is real. Married and moving through life. How's that? No. So some people set up booths for Books Expo, and then other people break their RV. So we have a calendar here, no less, for Alora's. Oh, Alora's cavemen. These are cavemen. Gotcha. That they are cover sense. models. Pretty normal. So what I look like when I take my shirt off. Of course. I, you're covering your romance you, novels, so right. when you're reading a racy romance that's got a cover that you can't just take on a soccer oh, field. Oh, yeah. Right? I don't want the kids seeing that one. Catcher in the rye. Didn't you spell rye wrong? Yeah. You know, the trouble is if you're if you only if you only buy one say and then you keep on moving it to different books, someone will be like, hey, you've been reading Catcher in the Rye for the last eight months. Going through that a little slowly. Yeah. I'm interviews. Sandy Paul. All right. And this is Gibson, world's tallest dog. World's tallest dog. Now, what Guinness book is he signing? Oh, Gibson speaks, no. can, but can he sign? He speaks, but can he sign? He potographs. He yes. <laughs> What is your name? My name's Norky. Norky has Norky. challenged John Actually, Fox to a dance-off. Come on, Ellen, can you do this? <laughs> Come on, Ellen, can you do this? <laughs> How about this, Ellen? So, tell us about your book. It's called How to Profit from the Coming Rapture. It's an investment guide for those of us who unfortunately not be raptured up to heaven. So is there different financial advice for when the red horse comes rather than Absolutely. the white horse? Good question, exactly. Okay. Chapter by chapter, and it's also sort of like a rapture and tribulation for dummies because as we read the chapters, you gotcha. see what exactly we expect to happen. Right. Well, we'll, we'll know. Well, we know what happen. Because it, it says so. It it says so. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, yeah, exciting!